In this video, we will create the database for our project and we will add database user. So I will need to log in to MySQL with the uh, root user once again. And now I will uh, need to create a database and I will go back to my project and uh, inside of the Hibernate uh, XML file, Hibernate configuration XML file, our database is called photo app photo underscore app so i'll copy this and now i need i will use command create database and i will paste uh, using command v the database name okay so one database is created i can list down the database using show databases command and I have photo app created. I'm not going to create any tables now because uh, Hibernate will do it for us when we run our project and start calling our API web services. But we will need to create a user because in our XML file we use a specific username that has access to this database and we have a password with which this user can connect to the database. So I'll need to create user and with uh, in MySQL you create user using create user command and then you um, type the database name and in our case it, it is photo app and then we say add localhost and then identified by and the password and I will copy the password paste uh, close the quotation mark and I'm using single quotation mark here uh, and hit enter okay so one user is created and I will now need to grant all privileges to this user for this newly created database and I'll use command grant all privileges privileges on and then uh, database name photo app on all tables to user photo app at server local host okay so we are granting all privileges on database photo app on all tables to a photo app user at local host and then we hit enter and now for this uh, changes to take uh, an effect, we will need to flash privileges and hit enter. Okay, so uh, we should be able to log in with the uh, new uh, user. So now let's do exit. And I will try logging into MySQL with user. And this time it's photo app space uh, dash P for password, hit enter. I'll just copy this password here and paste it and hit enter and I'm in. Now list, uh, let's show the databases available for this newly created user. Hit enter and we have photo app. And notice that MySQL database is not available for this user. It's available to a root user only. So if I exit and then go back, my login as a root user and then and log in as the root user show databases okay we have more databases in the list okay so we have database we have user and I think we're ready to try and deploy and run our application on uh, Amazon Linux server